Okay, so in this class, we're gonna have a look at how we install a plugin in Final Cut Pro. Now you can build your own plugins in Apple Motion, but once you've built it, then this would be the method you would install your plugins. Some plugins have their own installer, but we're gonna run through the manual method of installing a plugin. So we're working with one of Alex 4 ds plugins here, and he's got some great plugins on his website. Um, which you can browse and download here. We're gonna be using the basic keyframeable title that he's created here. So if we scroll down, you can see he's got some instructions for working with the, the title, uh, but we're gonna go ahead straight away and install it. So we're looking for the, the download link here. We're gonna click on the, the disk image download, which will download it nice and quickly to our downloads folder. And then once you've done that, you've got, I'll just move this to the desktop here. We've basically got a uh, disk image here that we're going to expand and then we're going to copy that folder into our motion templates folder in our home folder which is where which is where you organize your plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. So we're going to double click on this and in this folder that Alex has created we've basically got this folder which inside you can see you've got the motion uh, template so in theory we could open this up we could actually work with this in motion uh, and make our own changes our own tweaks to the template but we're just going to go ahead and install this so we just need this folder and we're going to bring up a new finder window so we'll go to file new finder window and we're going to our home folder um, if you don't see a link to the home folder on the left here once you're in the finder just just go to the go menu and look for the home button here or shift command and h is the shortcut and then we're going to go into the movies folder we're going into motion templates and then titles and in the titles folder i'm going to make a new folder just so I keep things organized here. So Alex 4D, and then I'm gonna drop in this basic titles folder into there. So once I've got that in there, when we open up Final Cut Pro, and we'll just go down here and open up Final Cut Pro, we're gonna make a new library for this. And if we then go ahead and make a new project, come to our titles, on the right hand side, we'll see this new basic keyframeable title right here. And we can double click on that to add it to the timeline. So that's how to install a plugin. Um, if you have a explore online, you'll find lots of different plugins that you can use for color correction, for working with type, for animation, um, and for a variety of other things. Lots of them will have their own installer, but if you do find ones which require manual installation, then this is the way to do it.